All right, you grumpy viewers, I just went on the OpenSense firewall, uh, the personal one that I have, and went into the update section, and I noticed that there is a new release with an underscore four, which tells me this is an interesting upgrade. And I already know this, but anyways, if I look at the check for updates, boom, we have uh, a new version. And uh, if you if you can read this, basically says uh, means 19.1 is almost here. In the meantime, accept a small incremental update with goodies such as Suricata 4.1 custom passwords for p12 certificate export as well as fresh fixes in the free bsd base so this is a good sign um, and also yeah a lot of cleanups we expect rc1 in 22 weeks and the final 19.1 on january 31st uh, so it's now february 2nd and if you go to uh, the OpenSense website they do actually have the release there so this is a this is a, a maintenance release but it also if you scroll down here uh yeah there's a hot fix release was issued firmware firmware enable upgrade path to 19.1 so you're pro you're most likely going to have to upgrade to this release to install version 19.1 if uh, you feel so inclined to do uh, some interesting updates here uh, depending on what you what you're using it for there's some updates to some libraries there are some, uh, yeah, intrusion detection team change default alert level to notice. A, a whole list here of um, patches that were done to this release. If you go to the OpenSense website, you can see that they've already have 19.1 inspiring iguana um, on the site. And uh, what do we have about this 19.1? So there's some major release, some major changes in 19.1. The first one being uh, the firewall alias API, Pi firewall shaper support, uh, firewall NAT rule logging support. That's really nice. Two-factor via LDAP. Uh, yeah, we saw that P12 certificate export with custom passwords. A D-pinger is now a default gateway monitor instead of a pinger. So I think that's been a pinger's been deprecated. Uh, what we got here a DNS mask, DNSX support, OpenVPN client, export API, Realtek NIC driver version update, hardened BSD uh, core, an update to Libra SSL, uh, firmware health check, uh, firmware health check extended to cover all OS files, HTTP monitor default updates, browser cache safe regarding. Uh, yeah, there's a lot here. I'm not going to go through all of this, but uh, just go to the website and you can um, take a look. Um, so here are some of the migration notes. Uh, gateway health graphs may need manual reset due to a pinger, due to the a pinger to d pinger migration. Uh, intrusion detection GOIP rules are automatically deactivated, need to be manually migrated. Quagga plugin has been superseded by FRR plugin. Um, binary package, let's consider. Yeah, please read the FRR documentation regards to required. Uh, Beehive UFI boot may fail as guessed. SNMP plugin has been superseded by net SNMP plugin and there's the uh, the public key for the download so that's some exciting news I am uh, I'm working remotely right now I don't think I'm going to be updating to 19.1 remotely I might do the incremental uh, I might do the incremental uh, patch update to 18 just so that you know when I get back I can upgrade straight to 19.1 and see what issues I have but anyways, just uh, yeah, just a short video on uh, OpenSense releasing 19.1. If you aren't using OpenSense, I would highly recommend you go and check it out. That is that. See you guys in the next video.